everyone. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to make a miniature stocking. This is really fast, quick, and easy. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. If you have any questions, leave them below, and let's get started. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And we're going to place it on the anchor peg and secure it. Then we're going to do our cast on. For each peg, we're going to make an E twice and take the bottom loop over the top. So it's like doing an E wrap. We're going to do this the entire way around the loom. And again, these are just tiny little E's. We're going to wrap twice around each peg. This is the flower loom. It has 12 pegs on it. Now that we're cast it on, we're going to start with a row of the E-wrap knit. So we're going to E-wrap the entire way around the loom with our little tiny E's. And then we're going to take our hook and knit off all pegs. Okay, now that those pegs are knitted off, we don't want to push them down all the way, but just a little is fine. We're going to do the purl stitch. That is going to be our next stitch that we do is the purl stitch. So for that, you put your working yarn below the yarn stitch on the peg. And you reach down with your hook and pull that yarn, take it off the hook or off the peg, and put it back on the peg. See it close to you, pull it out, then take it off and put it back on the peg. And again, this is the purl stitch. So what we're doing here is we're doing one round of knit and one round of purl. So one round of knit, one round of purl equals one row for this. So we are going to do this four times. So four times we're going to do one knit and one purl. Together, that is one row. So we're going to do four rows of knit and purl. Then we're going to change our yarn out to red. So once we finish that, we're going to cut our yarn and 
change it to red. Now we're taking our red yarn and we're doing the e wrap stitch. You can change any stocking that you make to be as big or little as you'd like. For this particular stocking, I'm going to do eight rows of the e wrap stitch before I start in on my heel. So, again, it, it's all in what you're looking for. For this stocking, I'm doing eight rows of the e wrap stitch before I start on my heel. So, continue doing the e wrap stitch until you get to eight rows. When the video comes back, our eight rows will be finished. We're starting on the heel, so we're going to wrap pegs one through five. Then we're going to knit off those pegs. So again, we wrapped pegs one through five. If you're having a little tension knitting over, just move the stitches a little bit up and it should be a little easier to knit over. Then push those stitches down. Now we're going to take our working yarn and make a loop on peg, peg six. And we're going to put it behind peg five. Wrap peg five, peg four, three, two, one. We'll secure our yarn at peg one and knit over those stitches. Do not knit over peg six. So again, we're only knitting off pegs one through five and we're going to leave peg six alone. Push your stitches down. Now we're going to make a loop on peg 12. Just like we did on peg six, put it behind peg one and wrap pegs one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll need to wrap peg five as well. And just leave peg six alone. Secure your yarn. And we're going to knit over pegs five through one. Now we're going to make a loop on page peg five, just like we did on peg six. And wrap again pegs four through one. And then we're going to knit off those pegs. And we're going to leave peg five and six alone. Now we're going to loop peg one, just like we did with the others, and wrap pegs two through four. And then we're going to knit off and we're going to leave pegs 12 and 1 and pegs 5 and 6. Then we're going to e-wrap pegs 4 through 1 and knit off pegs one through three we're knitting off. Now on peg one you're going to have double and that's okay. Just take those two stitches and knit those over the top stitch. So see where there's two stitches on the bottom? You're going to take those and knit those over the top stitch. 
and we're going to knit pegs one, two, three, push those stitches down, and now we're going to e-wrap pegs one, two, three, and four. Secure your yarn and knit over. Now on number four, we're going to have two strands again. We're just going to take those and knit them over the top stitch, just like we did with the other one. It might be a little tight. If you need to do one by one, that's fine too. Push those stitches down. And now we're going to e-wrap again pegs 4 through 12. So now we're on peg 12 and we're going to knit those two stitches over just like we did with the other. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, And now we're going to e-wrap to pig five. Knit those two over. So our working yarn is at pig five right now. Push those stitches down, and we're going to e-wrap the rest of the row. Now on peg six, you still have those two stitches. That's fine. Just e-wrap them over as you did with the rest. So we're just going to finish off the row with a nice last e-wrap. And here's that peg six with the two stitches and push your stitches down. Now we're going to make five more rows of the E-wrap. So again, we're going to make five rows of the E-wrap stitch. We made our five last rows and now we're going to take our stocking off of the loom. So wrap the working yarn around the loom one and, one and a half times usually. And lift the stitches a little bit from the bottom just to make what we're going to do a little bit easier. Place the yarn that you just cut below the stitch on the peg, like we're going to do a purl stitch, but pull that tail all the way out. We're going to do this the entire way around the loom. So again, make sure that that yarn is underneath the stitch on the peg and pull it out, just very similar as if you were going to do a purl stitch, but there's no loop. Do this the entire way around the loom.
What I'm doing here is just removing some of the stitches off of the loom. These are the stitches that have already been pulled out. So it creates less tension on the loom. So we are almost done getting to our last few pegs and then our stocking will be able to come completely off of the loom and we'll be at our next step. Okay. Don't lose sight of the tail. We're going to pull a little just to give it some shape. Then I'm going to place the tail in through the toe. Turn it inside out and pull. Not too hard, but just enough. And then I'm going to tie a knot to secure. And I'll probably do two knots. And then just give it a snip. You don't have to weave in the ends inside of the sock because nobody, or inside of the stocking, nobody's going to um, be wearing this. So um, just give it a snip. And I am using two strands of the Red Heart Super Saver. Now I am just going to take the yarn, the tail of the cuff for the stocking and weave it in a bit. Give it a snip, and then fold the cuff over and tuck that down. You can also see how it looks with the cuff not folded. You can do it any way you want, because it's your stocking and it's your project. But that's how it looks out. I think it looks really cute folded down, too. And that's going to do it for our mini stocking. And that's going to do it for our miniature stocking video. If you haven't already, Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.